Hi you guys, welcome to another vlog here on my YouTube channel and today is Monday. Yesterday was Mother's Day so we had a really nice Mother's Day celebration but after that we had to drive to San Antonio and check on a job site that my husband had to look at for work and so we kind of just made like a little vacation of it. We drove down Sunday night, spent the night, got dinner, all that kind of stuff and then he checked on the job this morning and I kind of just enjoyed the hotel and made myself a little morning of it but we are home now and I am commuting back to base tomorrow so I'm kind of just getting my ducks in a row, all that good stuff. So as you can tell my hair is wet and so it was hair wash day so I figured I would show y'all kind of what I do on hair wash day. Okay so the products I used on my hair today after I washed it were first the Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Repair Moisture Mask. I don't do this all the time but I like to do it probably once a month. It's a really deep conditioning moisturizing mask. Um, and you leave it on for 10 minutes and then just rinse it out after you've already shampooed and conditioned your hair. And then I followed up with the Kenra blow dry spray. It's essentially a heat protectant, but also smells really, really good. And then I do a couple of spritz of the It's a 10. This is the one with keratin in it, but I like the blonde one. I like the regular one. I like this one. And I focus this really on the ends because I've got color treated hair and I have long hair. So I really have to moisturize my hair to avoid as much damage as possible. And then another little maintenance thing that I like to take care of when I'm home is tinting my own eyebrows. I use this just for men beard dye and it's super simple. You just paint it on, leave it on for like three or four minutes, wipe it right off. And then I would say it lasts for probably like a month. So. And I got this like over a year ago and I still have so much product left so it's way better than paying someone to tear your eyebrows at a salon. Okay, you guys, I've had a very productive morning, which is my favorite kind of morning to have when I'm getting ready to go back to base. I went to the gym, I worked out, did a ton of laundry, and I also got a new set of nails. I get um, DIP or SNS on my natural nail. It usually lasts me about three and a half weeks, and so I love it. It's very useful at work for like ripping open ice packs, so I've gotta have my nails. Um, now I'm just eating some leftover quiche that I made for Mother's Day. And I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm going to start getting ready to head to the airport. Okay you guys, it's 1.15 or no, it's 1 and I need to leave my house at 1.15. So I'm just packing up my lunchbox. I've already got my roller and my tote packed up. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then we're going to head to the airport. Okay guys, I made it to my airport. It's 1.33 now. My flight does not board until 2.02, so I'm here pretty early. Um, the good thing about commuting out of a smaller airport is security only takes like maybe five or 10 minutes. My flight looks really good today, which is kind of surprising. Commuting has not been that easy the past couple of months, I guess just because everyone is flying again, which is amazing, but it has made commuting a little bit more difficult. So when I was listing for all of my flights yesterday, they all had like 20 plus seats open on them. And I was just like, what? It's been months since anything like that has happened. So I'm not stressed about commuting today, which is a very nice feeling. So when I get my stuff together, I've got my roller and my lunchbox in the back and my tote up here. That's heavy, but I'm gonna get all my stuff together and head inside. Hi 
Hi you guys, so today was my second day on call, but luckily last night during the preference run, I was able to snag technically a fake four day trip. So tonight I'm going to work Houston to San Francisco and then I will be working the San Francisco to Indianapolis red eye. I will get into Indianapolis around six o'clock in the morning and then I've got a 24 hour layover. So I'm in the employee parking lot now. I'm going to get on the bus and head to the terminal. I have a whole train myself today. That never happened. guys I just got into Indianapolis and I'm exhausted from working all night long I've been awake since 7 a.m. yesterday so I'm really excited to get some rest get some sleep um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all around my room first so when you walk in here's the bathroom really nice coffee bar the mirror closet Oh, that's kind of hard to open. Oh, robes. I love hotel robes. And then we've got two beds. Nice desk area. Let's see if we have any kind of view. This is a 23 hour layover. So we are downtown, which is nice. So we are around lots of fun things to do. Shopping, that kind of stuff. It looks like it's a beautiful day today in Indianapolis. Okay, on today's episode of what is in my lunchbox, a whole loaf of sourdough bread. Because I bought it at the grocery store and then I got this trip and I plan on going home right after this trip and I didn't want to go to waste. Good sourdough. Good morning, you guys. Well, it's not really morning. It is like 3.10 in the afternoon, but I took a little nap, only like two and a half hours. I would have liked to sleep longer, but I think I've said it before in a video that I'm really terrible at sleeping during the day. My body just does not like to sleep when it is light outside. So I'm up. I'm currently trying to open up a new memory card, but I think it requires scissors and of course, I do not travel with scissors because I cannot travel with scissors. Okay, I got my new SD card in and I am all ready to go out and explore. So, let's go. Here is my very basic layover outfit. I've just got this like sweater crop top, jeans, and then my Steve Bannon tennis shoes, and my Lululemon belt bag that I wear all the time. Sorry, the lighting is so bad, but here's my outfit. walking around the mall for a little bit and now I think I'm gonna head back to my hotel and go to the gym. So y'all saw I walked around a bit. Oh, my tripod is like, it won't hold angles anymore, which is annoying. Uh, and now I'm eating some meal prep. This is like a really easy one because um, if you like take out the tomatoes, this is something that you could take through customs and they wouldn't take it because it's just pasta. Um, but this is like the protein pasta and I do basil 
and lemon, or not basil, pesto and lemon juice. I guess pe uh, basil is in pesto, maybe. So I'm gonna eat this and then probably go to the gym. So it is 5.03 in the morning, um, I did not go to sleep early enough. That's my fault though, I was watching The Notebook on TV and I love that movie and it made me cry. But I just have one like today, Indianapolis to Houston and hopefully they don't try to turn me after I land because if you saw my last video, video you know that I got back pretty early in the morning and they gave me a turn after that so hopefully that doesn't happen and I don't want to jinx myself so hopefully I didn't just jinx myself I'll let you know if I did and I'll show you how I tied this particular scarf I have two that are like long skinny scarves like this and I'll either wear them in a bow but kind of casually if I'm not feeling like a bow I'll just do a little knot like this I think it's cute that, so I think I'm just gonna wear my scarf like this today. It's a look. <laughs> That's how you know I'm tired. I almost just forgot to put on any mascara. One of my favorite parts about my day at work is whenever I have a few minutes after I've gotten ready and I can just eat my breakfast <laughs> alone in my room. I don't know what it is, it's just very relaxing. So I've got a banana, peanut butter, and then my overnight oats. I'm gonna mix them up before I show them to you guys because they look kind of ugly. Kind of, they're good, I promise. Here's my overnight oats. I'm going to chop my banana up, put it in here, and then eat peanut butter with every bite. Yeah. Okay, so what I'll do is I will get a little bit of peanut butter on my spoon, and then I will grab a bit of oatmeal with a banana, and it's so good. Okay, good morning, you guys. I am the back galley position today, which it's one of my favorite positions and our captain was so nice today and he ordered us all coffee so I got an almond latte and so good so I'm just gonna finish setting up and I will see y'all once we land in Houston. So I just finished my trip and I was released two my days off and the timing couldn't have been better because it is almost nine o'clock now and I'm going to make the 1020 flight home so I'm really excited to have some time off. Okay, you guys, I am finally back home. It was a very easy commute day. There was like 12 seats open, so I got a seat, no problem. Um, today was really the perfect scenario, um, commuting workday. You know, I finished my workday pretty early, and then I was released to my days off, and so I got to hop on a flight to go home. So today was a really good day. Now I've got three days off, so I'm excited to relax and spend some time with my husband, but I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really love making my vlogs here on YouTube, so if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so, and I will see you all around for my next video. Bye.